So what's going on guys, Kade is here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the top 3 best musket builds for PvP and PvE in your world. So for each and every single build I will explain what attributes and perks you want to have, then what the gems and specific gear you want to use to get out your stats as much damage as possible. Then as well I will show you the best gameplay of me using different weapons so you would know which abilities you want to use first on your enemies and much more. So if this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So then moving over to the first build which is the one and only musket and rapier and these are the attributes you want to have. So first things first, no matter from which level you start using this build you want to get your dexterity to 150 or even 200 and then start building your constitution and around level 60 you should have 300 dexterity and 100 constitution and last but definitely not least for your gear you want to go with the light category and the best setup is to use medium chest piece and then the rest light armor and this will put you at 12.7 kilograms which is the closest possible weight just below the medium category and just to quickly explain my reasoning behind going for the light armor so right now in the current stage of the game I believe that for almost any build the best setup is medium gear for group pvp and wars but for pve and leveling and even solo open world pvp you want to go with the light armor but of course at the end of the day it comes out to your personal preference I personally really like the two dodge rolls and then the extra damage you get from the light armor but both options are viable but for the purpose of this video we will go with the light category so then moving over to the the first weapon which is the musket and these are the weapon masteries you want to have so first of all you want to unlock the first ability called the power shot and then get these two perks then afterwards unlock the second ability called the shooter stance and then the next perk to that as well and now let's move over to the other side and unlock this one perk and then the last third ability called the stopping power and then the last perk to him as well and now from this point you can spend your points in whatever order you like so then let's go over to the second weapon which is the rapier and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all you want to unlock right off from the start both these two abilities called the evade and repost. And then afterwards unlock both these two perks. Then lastly get the last third ability called the fleech. And now let's take a closer look at the left side and get all these three perks. And now from this point and onwards you're full free to spend your points in whatever order you like. Okay so now let's go over to the gameplay where I will show you the best way to play this build. So first of all we have the musket and for your Q spell we have the ability called the power shot which when activating overloads your musket with gunpowder causing the next shot to deal a bunch of damage and it's super good in removing someone's health to 60% just from one shot. Then the second ability is called the shooter stance which when using your character enters a shooting stance and all of the shots fired deal additional damage and the reloading time of the musket is reduced by 70%. And then for our last third ability we have the stopping power which again overloads your gun with gunpowder but this time when you shoot a target he gets staggered and knocked back for 3 meters. In my experience I focus mainly on spamming headshots and only really using charged shots if on a boss or in 50v50 wars. So then taking a closer look at the second weapon which is the rapier and the first Q spell is called the evade which by activating makes you invulnerable for a split second and it can be good in dodging enemy attacks but you have to know how to use it. So then we have the second ability called the repost and it is a reflect which means that when you activate it and if an enemy hits you you will reflect the incoming damage from you to him so if he does an F ability on you instead of you getting hit he will hit himself and lastly we have the fleech ability which will deal damage and provide a small but nice mobility slash dash spell. So the simple and straightforward way to attack a player as you are a musket user, you want to use your musket and keep on headshotting the enemy from a distance. I personally prefer to only use the musket abilities in group pvp or pve farming. So just keep on spamming your musket auto attacks but where the rapier comes in hand is usually you should be away from the enemy but if you get caught or attacked by a player you want to switch to the rapier and use the fleech ability to create a bit more distance and in that time switch back to the musket and get one or two shots before the enemy gets back to you. So then switch again to the rapier and use the repost ability to reflect the incoming damage and then lastly use the auto attacks plus the evade ability and finish off the enemy. You most importantly need to understand that as a 
limited player, you mainly want to have as much distance as possible from your enemies. But when they get close to you, you can either way run away using the Fleech ability, or perhaps use the Repost ability and surprise the enemy, by how much damage you can do in the close range. And with all this said, now for my final conclusions for this build. This musket and rapier weapon combination makes this build a very good choice for Outpost Rush, 50v50 wars, even 1v1 open world PvP, because not only you can snipe people, but as well if you get attacked or challenged, you can easily switch to the rapier and deal a bunch of damage. So then, last but not the least, for your gem choice for the musket and a rapier, you want to use the Opo gem. And for all of your gear, rings, amulets and everything else, use the Enix gems, and that's about it. So, if you want to be a sniper in New World and use a very versatile build that is good for solo and group content, then this is the build for you, so enjoy! So now for my second build, we have the build which I like to call as the ultimate sniper build. And for the weapons, you want to go with the bow and musket, and these are the attributes you want to have. So basically, this build is made around doing a lot of damage from very far distance. And you won't have almost any defensives, but the single target damage that you will do will blow your mind. So first of all, you want to get your dexterity to 200 and then start putting points in constitution. And around level 60, you should have 300 dexterity and 100 constitution. And lastly, for your gear, you want to go again with being in the light category. Which means using the best setup, aka one medium chess piece and then all the other light equipment. So then taking a closer look at the first weapon, which is the bow. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first things first, you want to unlock both these two perks and then the first ability called the Poison Shot and then these two perks. Then now let's take a closer look at the other side and unlock the second ability called the Penetrating Shot and then get these two perks. Then lastly, unlock the last third ability called the Rapid Shot and then get these two perks. And now from this point, you're full free to pick and choose which perks you want to unlock next. So then for our second weapon, we have the Musket and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all, you want to unlock the first ability called the Power Shot and then get these two perks. Then afterwards, unlock the second ability called the Shooter Stance and then the next perk to that as well. And now let's move over to the other side and unlock this one perk and then the last third ability called the stopping power and then the last perk to him as well and now from this point you can spend your points in whatever order you like okay so now let's go over to the gameplay where i will show you the best way to play this build and as we already did this once before i will try to summarize it very quickly so first of all we have the bow and the q spell is called the poison shot which gives you the ability to shoot an arrow and when it reaches a target the arrow will explode and create a poison smoke and enemies standing in that smoke will be taking damage every second. Then the second ability is called the penetrating shot, which deals damage and the arrow itself can go through multiple targets. And lastly, our third ability is the rapid shot, which gives you the ability to shoot three arrows in one to two seconds. And then taking a closer look at the second weapon, which is the musket. And the first Q spell is called the Power Shot, which when activating overloads your musket with gunpowder, causing the next shot to deal a bunch of damage. And it's super good in removing someone's health to 60% just from one shot. Then the second ability is called the Shooter Stance, which when using your character enters a shooting stance. And all shots fired deal additional damage. And the reloading time of the musket is reduced by 70%. And then for our last third ability we have the Stopping Power, which again overloads your gun with gunpowder. But this time you can shoot the target and he gets staggered and knocked back for 3 meters. Again, the same way like in the previous build, I try to focus mainly on spamming headshots and on really using charged shots if on boss or 50v50 wars. My main goal with this build is to try to alternate between auto attacks and abilities. So I normally use one auto attack, then a poison shot, then follow that up with the penetrating shot and a rapid shot. And then I switch to the musket and I use one auto attack, then switch to the bow and use one auto attack. And by shooting once and switching to the weapons, I don't need to wait for the reloading time for both weapons. And this of course helps me out to get shots off quicker. And then lastly when the cooldowns on the bow are back up I use them and then go back to the spamming auto attacks and that's about it. So now for my last and final conclusions for this build. This bow and musket weapon combination is not used often but in my experience just having one of these type of players on your team is very useful. You basically become the sniper of the team and you don't have any defensives so your main goal is to always stay away from the enemy as far as you can but then just aim and shoot and destroy all of your enemies. So then last but not the least, for your bow and musket you want to use the diamond gem. And as you are not meant to take any damage, getting 15% on your every attack is huge. And then for all of your gear, use the enix gems. So in a quick summary, if you want to be a super high damage sniper that has really good aim, then this is the build for you. So have fun! 
So now moving over to my last and final build which is the musket and spear and these are the attributes you want to have. So no matter from which level you start using this build you first of all want to get your dexterity to 200 and then get 50 points in constitution and then continue putting everything else in dexterity and around level 60 you should have 300 dexterity and 100 constitution. And lastly for your gear you want to go with the light category which means using the best setup aka one medium chest piece and then all the other light equipment. So then moving over to the first weapon which is the musket and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all you want to unlock the first ability called the power shot and then get these two perks. Then afterwards unlock the second ability called the shooter stance and then the next perk to that as well. And now let's move over to the other side and unlock this one perk and then the last third ability called the stopping power. And then get the last perk to him as well. And now from this point you can spend your points in whatever order you like. So then going over to the second weapon which is the spear. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all I recommend for you to unlock both these two perks and then the first ability called the sweep and then get these two perks. Then now let's go over to the other side and unlock these two perks. Then afterwards get the second ability and of course the next two perks to him as well. And lastly unlock the last third ability called the vault kick and then get these two perks. And now again from this point you can unlock all the other perks in whatever order you like. Okay so now let's go over to the gameplay where I will show you the best way to play this build. And as we already looked into the musket twice I will just skip it and go straight for the second weapon which is the spear. And the first Q spell is called the sweep which if you hit an enemy makes him drop down to the ground. And then the second ability is called the perforate and when using it it does 3 super fast spear attacks. And if you hit a target with all of them he gets stunned for extra second or two. And lastly we have the vault kick ability and if you land it it will stun an enemy for 1.5 seconds. Ok so the best way to attack a player is first of all from a distance get your musket and use the power shot ability and shoot him once with the normal attack and then afterwards switch to the spear and close the gap with one heavy attack which you can do by holding your attack button for extra second longer and then use your sweep ability and then activate the reparate ability which will do 3 super fast spear attacks. Then when the enemy is about to get back up use the vault kick and keep on auto attacking. When he is finally out of all of your stuns switch to the musket and create the distance by running a little bit back and then use the auto attacks plus the other power shot abilities. So this might seem very complicated but the more you will play the better you will get. You just most importantly need to understand that when the enemy is further away use your musket and when he gets close to you use the spear and keep on stunning him with all of your abilities. The best part about this build is that you can keep on fighting a player in a long distance but as well in super close 1v1 combat. So now for my final conclusions for this build. The musket and spear weapon combination right now is super strong and this build has super high damage. And with the perks we have selected we make this build work very well in PvE and even PvP. And just of course you have to consider that to play this build it will be a lot harder and take more time to practice aiming, especially at moving targets, because it may seem easy to land a bullet and then switch to the other weapon, but it's actually quite hard. Then last but not the least, for the musket and spear you want to use the opal gem, and for all of your gear get the enix gems. So in a quick summary, if you are looking for a high skilled build that requires a bit more practice but is very OP, then this is the build for you, so enjoy. And that's about it. So I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good builds that you would like to see in the next video then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell so this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said you have an amazing day and I will catch you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace.